There's Bob Myers. Of course, Steph Curry with his dad. The emotions just pouring out. It might be his fourth, but it means so much. All the sacrifice, all the work. Boy, these, these Warriors are ready to celebrate. And that'll do it. It's over. The Golden State Warriors return to a familiar place. They're on top of the NBA world. The fourth title in eight years. The Dubs dynasty is still very much alive. A spectacular finish to another spectacular career for Steph Curry, Steve Kerr, and both members of the Celtics and the Warriors showing their respect after a hard fought six games. It's really one of the heartwarming scenes every year on this night. These incredibly talented athletes, wildly successful young men, acting with the joy and happiness of a child when they finally win it. All the hard work, all the sacrifice has paid off as they reach the goal. And knowing that they didn't do it alone, they did it together. This accomplishment, a bond that they'll have for the rest of their lives. And for a number of these Warriors, their fourth championship. They'll have to celebrate on the road again. Three of their four titles they've clinched on the road. And there's Andre Iguodala showing such respect to the young star, Jason Tatum, who had brilliance in these playoffs but fell short in the finals. We did it, Cole. We did it, man. We did it, Cole. Bruce Frazier, the head coach. Mark, you've known Steph Curry since he got into this league. When you see these emotions, from this great player, what goes through your head? You get emotional also, realizing how much he put into this ball game, how much he put into being an all-time great. Facing adversity, facing constant injuries, things not going the way he wanted them to go, continued to work his tail off, and has chased down some of the greats to ever play in the history of this game. It's inspiring to watch. Jeff, you see their championship form again. It really is a sight to behold how well they play in the biggest moments. Well, I thought defensively after a rough start, they were absolutely tremendous. And then Curry carrying a limited offensive team to a championship. He'll never have a greater impact on a team than this year, what he did in these play. He played six years in the league and you know we get to share all these experiences together. So he's just proud of me. Congratulations to you, Seth. You're a champion again. Thank you, thank you. Come here, girl. Like all the elite players, the greatness becomes routine. You grow accustomed to his electrifying performances. Another one tonight here to clinch his fourth NBA championship. Curry, Thompson, Green, Iguodala, and of course Steve Kerr all win their fourth NBA title with these Warriors. Kevon Looney is third, and then you have the veterans like Wiggins and Porter and Lee and Peyton getting their first, as does the young players like Poole and Kaminga. What he was talking about with Lisa Jeff is what you said, that 1920 season after. Clay Thompson suffered that devastating injury. Curry only played five games. They win 15. And then last year, Clay Thompson still out. They lost in the play-in. As soon as Clay Thompson comes back and healthy, things turn around. So many great stories on that floor. Overcoming a lot of adversity as a team, individually and collectively. They deserve to take a bow. And Curry had that late season injury. And, you know, they suffered during that time and lost some chances to get home court advantage. And the way it worked out in the East, they still had home court advantage in the finals. And 
These last three wins, truly outstanding. That's the seventh title in franchise history, and Steve Kerr now has nine NBA championships, five as a player, four as a head coach. And the Warriors clinch here in Boston. It's only the second time in the storied Celtic Finals history that a team has won a championship and clinched a championship here in Boston. The Lakers did it. And now Steph Curry and the Warriors. So there'll be no game seven as Boston came out strong, went up by as many as 12. It looked like the Celtics were ready to go and ready to force a game seven. But Golden State has seen it all during all these years. You knew it early. He wanted to wrap it tonight. Sure, it'd be nice to do it in front of the home crowd. But